Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? Get ready to jump on a new hype train because this one is the real deal. Batman Ninja, not Ninja Batman, or rather Batman Ninja, has finally been revealed to the world at the recent Tokyo Comic Con, and the public finally got ourselves a trailer which you can check out in the description below. When it was first announced, I didn't really pay attention to it as it seemed like a small project at first glance. After all, the last time I tried to watch an American comic book anime, let's just say it wasn't exactly a great experience. American comic book heroes just don't really mesh well into the anime world, as anime characters don't mesh well into other mediums as well. But here, I really think we have ourselves a winner, and if you watched even a snippet of what was shown, I think most of us are in agreement that this Batman anime thing might actually work out to be pretty good. So let's go through exactly what is so hype about this upcoming theatrical film that's going to hit Japan in 2018. So first of all, what is the premise of this movie? Why in the world is Batman in Japan, specifically the Sengoku period? Sengoku period was way back over 500 years ago, so is this a Batman in an alternate universe that existed back then? Or is he a Batman that traveled back in time? It seems like it's going to be the latter with the entire Bat family and villains transported back to the Sengoku period. If they were transported back, the next biggest question is why in the world does Damien have a Chonmage haircut? The only real possible answer to that question is that he most likely decided to cut his hair that way to blend in and probably to become a true samurai. The top knot was used back then to keep the heavy samurai helmet in place on their heads in battle, which also became a status symbol amongst the rich later on. Definitely a Damien type of accessory. So the Joker has usurped Oda Nobunaga, who is one of the biggest names in Sengoku history, as a very powerful leader. And Joker is trying to rewrite history. Batman obviously isn't going to let this happen and takes up arms against Joker as a samurai himself. But more importantly, we have some serious heavy hitters behind the scenes for this production. The writer of the story is Kazuki Nakashima, who is the writer for Guren Lagann and Kill a Kill. And the person responsible for Batman and his crew's new look is character designer Takashi Okazaki, who was the original creator for the classic Afro Samurai. The composer for the film is going to be Yugo Kano, who did the soundtracks for Psycho Pass, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, Ajin, Baramu, and plenty more high-profile works. The animation, as you can probably tell, is in 3D CG. A lot of people still don't like the look of 3D CG, but you can't deny that it's come a long way and for some series, the art style works pretty well for certain genres, like the recent Blamu film. I personally enjoy the 3D CG aspect of the film, but it's surprising that the studio responsible for this film is a relatively small studio called Kamikaze Doga, who animated Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusader's opening song. But here's the most interesting part. Batman's voice is Beerus from Dragon Ball Super, and Joker is Tobi from Naruto, Okuyasu from Jojo Part 4, or Knuckle from Hunter x Hunter. Pretty diverse roles, and his Joker doesn't sound half bad. I don't know about you guys, but if you listen to his Joker laugh, it sounds pretty legit, at least to my ears. He obviously studied the Joker laugh from previous actors quite intensively, and it doesn't sound out of place beside the Japanese dub. Alright, so it all still sounds kinda bizarre, and nobody expected it to look this good. But with alumni from Afro Samurai, Gurren Lagann, Psycho Pass, and Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, I think we have ourselves a pretty solid production team with a solid bunch of voice actors to back them up. And is it really weird to hear Batman speak Japanese? No, because it's been confirmed in the past that he knows a ton of languages, with Japanese being one of them to a varying degree. There is no release date for the film yet, but it is expected to be in theaters in Japan only for 2018. Depending on the Western response to the trailers and etc., maybe we'll even get it in select theaters westwards, but most likely a digital slash physical copy release for us. Anyways, are you down for Batoman Ninja? And if you're not, why not? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan. And I'll see you guys in the next one.